Last time we talked about the uh, negative photoregist, which is uh, uh, very common in the industry. Negative. And uh, you have to notice the disadvantage of the negative photoregist. Okay, uh, since the pattern can be uh, changed with a negative uh, photo ridges, so uh, that is the main disadvantage of uh, negative photo ridges. Now, on the other hand, the positive uh, photo ridges is a kind of photo ridges that it uh, consists of a heavy molecules to start with and then if you shine the light then uh, we call the inhibitor inhibitor that uh, we're going to break the cross-linking just uh, the other way around to the negative photoregist okay so uh, the advantage of uh, the advantage is obvious in the, with a, a positive photoregist. Let me see where is the advantage first. Let me go through the advantage first. Advantages, okay. High resolution, because the uh, with the light, the changed photoregist will be uh, dissolved in the uh, developer, okay? So uh, the pattern is not going to be changed after the exposure. So uh, no swelling, okay? So high resolution can be obtained with the positive photoregist and is exposure never affected on adhesion. Let me just do give you the idea. Now this is the PR and if the uh, mask pattern has something like this, so the light is shown here. In the negative photoregist, the, uh, the part with the light is going to be remained because of the cross-linking, okay, and we call that the promoters, becomes a heavy molecule. And so uh, the rest part is going to be uh, going to disappear after the developing, okay. So this PR, which, rem uh, which is supposed to remain on the wafer, has been changed with the light. But in a positive, positive PR case, the PR with the light, okay, with the light is going to be go away after the uh, developing process, okay? So this is the original uh, heavy molecule PR and the part with the light, the inhibitor, inhibitor, break this uh, cross-linking so that uh, this part with the light is going to be dissolved in the developer, okay? So this original PR is going to remain on the wafer so it can have a high resolution, the adhesion. For example, if this part is uh, swollen, then the adhesion here is going to be maybe uh, it get worse, okay? But in this case, 
the adhesion is just the original one. It is not going to be changed with light. So you can maintain the good adhesion and the project for this. High H ray, the resistance, no oxygen resistance. Uh, disadvantage, uh, it requires a long time exposure because uh, the inhibitors works uh, slowly, uh, works slow than, uh, slower than the uh, uh, promoters. So it requires a more uh, light so that uh, the throughput may be uh, not so good as the negative PR. Okay? Uh, this is a high resolution thing. So, um, in the industry, in the modern in industry, industry, we use the positive PR instead of a negative PR. Okay? Uh, before this, uh, advantage and disadvantage of a positive uh, PR in the text. It uh, shows about the uh, fringes, which is possibly formed. And this is the typical example. This is the mask, and then you shine the light, and then interference between the lights, incoming light and the reflected light on the uh, back substrate, they have a standing wave so that the intensity has uh, some nodes like this, so, so that you end up with uh, some uh, patterns like this, or wavy thing there. And uh, after the etching, you can see the steps in the side walls. Okay, here the you can see the steps. And that is because of the interference between the lights, incoming lights and the reflected lights. So the node is corresponding to the half wavelength of the light that you use, okay? Integer multiple of a half wavelength, you are going to have a node. So if you want to uh, decrease these steps or the uh, wavy stuff, all you have to do is you, uh, you should use the short wavelength light, okay? If you use a short wavelength light, then the, the distance between the nodes becomes uh, small, and so that uh, you can uh, prevent this uh, large steps on the sidewalls. So the future advantage, is a future uh, Photoresist is, uh, is towards uh, to decrease the wavelength. So you have to develop a uh, develop PR which is uh, sensitive to the light on the high wavelength. Okay. So deep UV, UV resist. Uh, deep UV is uh, the uh, the wavelength of a deep UV is sh much shorter than the yellow light, which is uh, usually used in uh, uh, photoresist. Short wavelength and the higher resolution we can obtain because of that. Yeah. And uh, in general, quartz uh, optics is required to handle short wavelengths like 2,000 and 2,500 angstrom. Positive, we just use the commonly. And the, uh, the reason why we use a positive register for the UV, deep UV, is that deep UV is for the high resolution and the positive PR is uh, beneficial to have a high resolution compared to the negative PR. So that's why in the deep UV and positive for just uh, is used commonly. Okay, we can decrease the wavelength further from the UV, which is the X-ray, 
and even we can decrease the uh, wavelength to the E beam. Okay. D, uh, UB is uh, 2000 to 2500 angstrom, and X rays may be in the order of uh, 50 angstrom or so, the wavelength of the X ray. E beam is about 5 angstrom. Okay, the wavelength is 5 angstrom. This much decrease. And uh, uh, in the industry, we usually use a deep UV, okay? Uh, the, for the x-rays, we have to prepare the special mask. Special mask. As you see, the x-ray penetrates everything, okay, almost everything. So for the mask, we have to have a special mask, and then the design is going to be shown in the next slide there. And E-beam, uh, the flood, flood exposure is impossible. It's not possible with the E-beam, because it's a focused beam. Okay, so you have to do the direct writing. We call that direct writing, okay? And uh, we do not use the mask anymore for the EBIM because with the EBIM flood exposure is not possible. So in the industries, this X-rays and the EBIM is not uh, realized in the industry because of the, uh, its own problems there, okay? And uh, exposure system, Contact printing, uh, proximity printing. Contact printing means the mask is just touching the PR. That is a contact printing. Uh, of course, you can have a high resolution, but the mask is going to be contaminated with the PR after the repetition of the usage. Okay? So the next uh, de uh, developed uh, exposure system is the proximity printing. Proximity printing is, is a kind of equipment that uh, the mask is not really touching the uh, PR, but uh, the distance between the mask and PR uh, should be maintained less than 10 micron in the order of 10 microns. So that is not uh, going to be done by uh, hands. It should be uh, the distance has to be maintained with the, uh, with the automatic system and the, the vibration has to be controlled because of the distance. Now after that, uh, projection printing and uh, projection printing means if you have a one wafer here, and then you have, uh, let's say, many dyes, the same patterns for each dye. And uh, proximity and the contact of printing, you just do, you have an alignment key here and here, and then you just exposure wafer by wafer. But in a projection, you have an alignment key on each dye so that after one dye exposure, you're going to move to the next one and then do the exposure. So the, each dye has its own exposure. So if you have 88 dyes in a wafer, in your wafer, if you want to finish the, finish the exposure, then you have to do the eight, eight times, 88 times. Okay, that is the project. Uh, for projection uh, aligner, and then that is uh, the most popular in the industry these days. And uh, you can have a high resolution with that uh, die by die exposure system. Okay. Uh, even direct writing, X ray proximity printing. Okay. And I just discussed about the uh, problem uh, which prevents as uh, 
prevent to put this system into the practice. Okay, uh, in contact or proximity printing, the mask is in a physical contact or separated by a few microns. Uh, and the flood exposure is used. Okay, that is the good thing. And then the system has been shown here. Okay. And uh, this is the x ray uh, system. Exposure system, X-ray lithography, and you see the uh, mask consists of a special thing. You know, the mask is not a common mask that we can use. And uh, the problem with this uh, mask is that, the, of course, it is expensive, but it's uh, very fragile. It, it can be broken easily. So uh, this is uh, really uh, hard to do, to use in the industries. And the EVM system is obvious. And this is the EVM system, and you have to uh, directly write the patterns on your uh, PR. And uh, the real problem with this EVM system is that if you want to do some block like this, then you have to scan the EVM all the way to make this uh, whole thing exposure. And that is a time consuming. Okay, so that's the uh, problem with the EVM writing. The throughput, you, you can imagine how bad the throughput becomes if you use the even lithography. So, the even lithography is commonly used for the laboratories, in the laboratories. Okay, core findings positive PR is better than a negative PR for micro patterning because of the resolution. And short wavelength light is the way to go to have a high resolution because of the light interference and fringes on the wall. Uh, but uh, we, uh, it's limited by other problems with the X-rays and even So we are now the deep UV is the most common uh, light used in the inner streets. Uh, it seems that a new lithography technology is necessary for nanopatterning. So for the nanopatterning, we have to develop a new technologies. And uh, one hint for this new technology is to use the fringy effect. You have a two wavelengths light and then shines to make it interfere. Then you are going to realize the fringes on the substrate. And the uh, size of the fringe can be uh, in a nano uh, scale. So that uh, uh, that is a new technology, one of the new technology to realize the nano patterning. But it is not uh, common in, uh, in the industries. OK. So that's the uh, end of lithography. And, uh, Next week, let's uh, work on the metalli uh, metallizations, uh, chapter 14 there. All right? Do you have any questions? Okay, I see you in the next week on Monday then.